Hello third grade. This week we're going to talk about changing the background and making a little scene. So what you're going to do is first you got to sign in up here. Okay, so over here you could put over here. We call it the trip. Okay, so we're going to call it the trip. And you could use the cat or you could search down here and you could pick a different sprite if you would like and then you, you can X this out if you don't want to use this, but it's totally up to you. So first thing we got to do is we got to pick two backgrounds. So first you click over here and I'll show you how I do it. And then you could do your own design if you want. So I'll start with the bedroom. Okay. So you have to think about where do you want the character to start and where do you want him to finish? So I will have him in his bedroom first. And then I go down here and I'm going to search. So back, choose a backdrop search. Okay. See, I'm down here and I search and I want him to go to school. Now you don't, like I said, you don't have to do this like me. You could do this however you want to do it. Okay. So now when I click over here, okay, I have my backdrop over here and I click backdrops on the top and I could select which backdrop that I want. So I don't want this one anymore, the blank one. So I'll, I'll get that off. So once again, I'll show you, you click over here for the backdrop and then you click down here to add the backdrops that you like. And then if you click over here backdrops, you could pick which one he's going to be in first. So first I want him on the bedroom. So I'll click that. So next thing I got to do is I have to have my cat do a code. So sometimes people will say to me, they'll say, there's no motion blocks. This game doesn't work. You have to click down here. Okay. So this happens a lot of times with children. They'll say, oh, there's no motion blocks. What do I do? If there's no motion blocks, you have to click over here. So I click and then the motion box come up because the computer is saying, we don't want the background to move. We only want the character to move. So that's why if you don't have motion blocks, click down here and then the motion blocks pop up. So first thing we have to do is go to events and we're going to go when clicked. And we need to tell the computer, we got to tell the computer, we want to have, I'll click over here so you can see it. We need to tell the computer, we don't want to start with the school. We want to start with the bedroom backdrop. So with my code, I'm going to say when, when the cat's clicked, I'll do it when the cat's clicked. So I click on the cat again. Okay. When the cat's clicked, right over here. So I say when the flag is clicked, I'm sorry. So first click on the cat and then you say when the flag is clicked, you're going to go to looks and you're going to say switch backdrop to. Now what backdrop do I want first? I want the bedroom backdrop. So when I click the flag, the it's going to go to the bedroom here. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is I want to put the cat over here. So I'm going to say motion and I'm going to say go to. And where do I want him to go to? I want him to go to this point over here. Okay. Negative 163 and then negative 119. Okay. So the X is the left and the right and the Y is up and down and negative 119. Okay. So what this is to up oh, 19. Okay. So what this is doing is now when I click the flag, okay, it starts with the bedroom and then he goes here. So we want him to say something. Okay. So he's going to say, I go to looks, and I'm going to say, he's going to say, I need to get ready for school. Okay. And then we'll have him say that for two seconds. And then what do we want him to say after that? Maybe he'll say today, I have a big math test. And I say it like this, what he's going to say for two seconds. I know I will get on my test. And he's going to say, I studied so hard. Okay. So let's look how it works. So when I click the flag, it's on this background. The cat goes here and he's going to say these things. So let's see how it looks. I need to get ready for school. Did I have a big math test? I got 100% on my test. I studied so hard. So what's the next thing we want to happen? We want him to walk across the screen. So we're going to go to motion and we're going to say glide. Okay. We want him to glide and we could, you could put two seconds or one second. Where do I want him to glide to? I want him to glide over here. X 206 negative 118. So I put 206 over here and negative 118. Oh, Okay, so now let's see how it goes so far. You get ready for school. They have a big math test. And then he's going to walk up. 100 on my test. I studied so hard. Now he's going to walk over here. Now that might have been a little too quick. So let's make this two seconds. Okay, let's see how it goes with two seconds. 
And you can make it however you want it to be. Let's see how it goes. That's a little bit better, okay? So, we got that. Okay, we have him in the bedroom. We have him talking. We have him moving. What's the next thing we need to do? We have to switch the backdrop. So, looks, switch backdrop to school. Okay, so I go over here, switch backdrop to, and you pick which one you want. Okay, so sometimes kids, what they'll do is they'll put like seven different backgrounds if it's a long story. So you have a lot of options here. So we want him to start in the bedroom and then we want to switch to the school. Now, when he goes to the school, we don't want him to be on this screen. We want him to be back over here. Right? We want him to be back onto this side. So once it's switched to the school, we want to make him motion go to. Where do we want him to go to? We want to go to negative 193x and y negative 120. So let's look how this goes. He's in the bedroom. He says, I need to get ready for school. And then he's talking about his math work. And he has a test today. He studied hard. And now he's going to glide. And then it switches there. And now he's at his school. OK? So now he's at his school. Now what do we want him to do? We want him to say some stuff. He's going to say, um, Over here, so school today, and then he can say, you know, I, I don't want to be late. I don't want to be late. And then if you want to, you could either have him walk towards the school or walk this way. So then what I'll have him do is I'll have him um, motion go to. I have to actually glide. I have him glide. I have him glide, and I have him glide towards the door like this. Now, where is he going to? He's going to negative 16x. So I'll put negative 16x. And then uh, negative 44y. Okay, so let's look at it from the beginning. When we click the flag, he goes back to bedroom, and he's going to start down here. He does his little talk about his test. Then he glides to the end of the screen. We put him back over here when he's at the school backdrop. And then he's going to say, I'm excited for school. I don't want to be late. And he's going to glide to school. So let's take a look. So now he's over here. He's talking about his test. And he glides. Now we put him back over here. He's so excited for school. And then he can go into there. Okay, so that's how I'm going to end it for today. And here's what I would like you to do. I would like you to do a scene in Scratch where he says some things here. And I also would like you to um, have two different backdrops. Okay, so two backdrops. And I would like him to say some things. And I also would like him to glide. I will show you one other thing that you can do. And you don't have to do this, but this is just an option. If you go over here, okay, if you go over here and you, and you do like this, text text to speech. This opens up new blocks. So if I go, I'll show you again. I went down here to extensions and I put the, this one here. Now this opens up this one. What you could do is you can have him say something at the end too. You could have him say, uh, you know, the end. So watch this. The, the kids will, will, will hear this now. So now when you play it again, he's actually going to hear sound at the end. So and he's going to move across the screen after he speaks. And then he's going to move in, and then you're going to hear it. The end. Okay, so you could change. Also, what you could do is you could do like this. You could set voice down here, and you could change it to a different type of voice as well. It's up to you. If you want to make it a kitten, he'll talk like a kitten. So here's what I'd like you to do. You don't have to do it exactly like I did. You could do a different scene. I actually would prefer if you did a different scene. And I would like you to have a sprite, and I would like him to say some things. You could either use the purple say, or you could use the green speaking like I showed you at the end and I would like the character to glide across the screen and change the backdrop okay so just a short little thing like this with two scenes when you're done save your work please you could save up here or you could do file save now and when you're done please take a picture of your code and send it to me and that way I could see if there's any debugging that's needed and you take this photo and you can attach it to a Google Classroom. That way I could see your work. And on the top two, you can name your project a trip or whatever you'd like to call it.